guys, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel and for today's Vlogmas video, I am finally sharing with you guys our kitchen tour. I am so excited. So I had asked a couple of weeks ago if you guys still wanted to see the kitchen tour, even though the kitchen wasn't quite done. Um, we still have some painting and some trim to do and a few other little odds and ends, but essentially that project is on hold until spring and I didn't know if you guys wanted to wait until spring. Um, when everything was completely done to see it or if you wanted me to just show it to you now you guys all said show it to us now so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna preface this by saying that the kitchen is not clean um, it's tidy there are some dishes in the sink the floor hasn't been like mopped it's not perfect I thought about waiting until everything was completely done and perfect and the cabinets were 100% organized and everything was beautiful but that's not realistic for me it's not what you guys are used to seeing on this channel, so I decided just to go for it. I'm filming this bright and early on Thanksgiving morning, so I am about to destroy this kitchen with lots of good cooking. Um, so I wanted to show you guys before that happened. So, um, I don't have before footage. I don't think, um, I didn't think to take before pictures because this all started out with just one little thing we were going to do. We were going to replace the dishwasher and it sort of ballooned from there and ended up being a complete kitchen redo. So I don't have the four pictures. I am going to try to find some vlog footage um, just sort of sweeping the kitchen and showing you guys what it looked like but it was so ugly, so outdated and we are so happy with the way everything has turned out so far. So I'm going to quit rambling. Without further ado, I'm going to finally show you guys the sort of almost part of the way finished kitchen. All right, you guys, so here is a look at my kitchen. Like I said in the introduction, it's not perfect. It's a little bit messy. It's definitely lived in, but here it is. And I love the way everything looks. So I'm gonna go over everything quickly. Just kind of a quick overview. We serious we had these incredibly old-fashioned like 90s maple like yellow orange cabinets in here and blue countertops I don't have before pictures or anything because I was not smart enough to take any um, I'm gonna look through small vlogs and see if I can find some footage of what the kitchen looked like but if you've been watching me for a while you'll remember it was a mess and this update is so very much needed so we put in the white cabinets these are from Lowe's um, I will link them down below they're not the highest quality cabinets ever I will say that they are definitely a lower price option which is what we wanted um, we did not want to spend a fortune on this project, but I think that they still look really beautiful. Um, nice and crisp and clean. The white, I will say, is a lot harder to keep clean. I'm finding myself constantly wiping it down, but this is such a crisp, bright look. I can't complain. I think that it's so beautiful. And then there's the gorgeous countertops. So... We looked at a lot of different options for countertops and easily the nicest looking option for the lowest price was the Butcher Block countertop. We got ours from Home Depot. Um, we put it in. We originally were planning on finishing it in mineral oil and we did that at first and we just weren't happy with it. The oil never seemed to fully dry. Every single time we would set a piece of paper down on the counter, it would absorb the oil and it just wasn't, it wasn't what we thought it was going to be. So what we ended up doing was sanding it off and finishing it in tongue oil. And we are much happier with the finish. It's a little bit darker, but it doesn't leave that oily residue behind. And it's still completely food safe. Um, which is what we wanted. We didn't want to like polyurethane it or anything. We wanted it to be food safe, even though we're not cutting directly on these countertops. Um, still, you know, food gets put on the counter. Um, if we want to store food on the counter, like we sometimes do, it's just a better option. And this is so beautiful. It warms up the kitchen so much because everything is very like 
stainless steel, white, gray. It's very cold looking um, almost. And I feel like the wood of the countertop just really um, warms everything up, makes it seem so much more homey. So if you have seen my kitchen in its sort of before state, you will notice that the layout is almost the same. At one point we had talked about the possibility of moving this piece back and opening up this kitchen a little bit. And ultimately we decided against that just because we didn't want to encroach on the living space. Um, we have a very small home. It is a single wide mobile home. Um, and we wanted to kind of keep the space balanced as much as possible. So we still have this sort of L-shaped thing here. Originally when we moved in, this area over here was where our refrigerator was and this cabinet was not here. Um, so this countertop came to about here and then there was a refrigerator here. And a couple of years back, um, when we got this new refrigerator, we built it in here. This originally is where there was a sort of storage closet. And uh, this works out so wonderful. We love this. I think it looks so crisp and clean and um, just so much more user friendly than when we had the refrigerator here. And it allowed us to have more cabinet space. So before we made this transition, we sort of did the kitchen in steps. So we had a big standing cabinet here um, and that worked out fine, but it just wasn't the most aesthetically pleasing. I think this is so much better. We just so happened to have the perfect amount of space here for these cabinets. This cabinet fits here so perfectly, like we could not have um, had it be a closer fit. This opens with literally like just a teeny tiny little bit of space. Um, so we put that in. We decided to do this countertop instead of going all the way to the wall, which would have prevented this freezer from opening all the way. We left this little cubby here and I wasn't really sure how I was going to like this. It was just sort of the way it had to be because of this style refrigerator. Yeah, there's fingerprints on it. Like I said, not a clean, super clean kitchen right now. Um, had we had just a standard opening refrigerator that opened in one direction, we could have taken this piece of countertop all the way to the wall. But I sort of like having the little cubby here. Um, we bought this simple human trash can that fits perfectly in there. Um, it was very expensive. I don't think you should ever pay that kind of money for something to put trash in, but it's a perfect fit, looks really sharp in there, and it just keeps the trash can sort of out of the way and allows the space that we need for opening this. So overall it worked out. Um, I know that it's a little bit weird, maybe not the average setup, but it works well for us. And then we hung the paper towel um, holder above that. So how beautiful though does this look? This um, beautiful gray color of the wall against the white cabinets with the um, silver hardware. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, the color on the wall is pretty much the same color we've used throughout the house. It is Sherwin-Williams Repose Gray, and it's just the perfect neutral color. Um, it's not too, too cool. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just perfect. So there's that. So we took the white cabinets all the way across here, and we ended with this little short cabinet. So... The way that it was before was there was a full-size cabinet here that went all the way over. And with the way that this counter is and how there's not a lot of space, it was really hard to reach up into that cabinet. So we decided just to do a little half-size cabinet here. This is where I keep all of my spices and things and it works out so well. It's easy to access without this sort of counter getting in the way. And um, it just finishes off this row of cabinets really, really well. So we have the spice cabinet. Up here we are storing some of our food. And again, you guys, I have not cleaned these out. These are definitely lived in. These are not perfect. 
Um, when I originally was thinking about doing a tour, I was going to make it like perfect, but that's not realistic. My house is never perfect. So we're storing some of our food up here, sort of like our breakfast area, if you will. Um, so there's that. And then, and then we have more food here. And I love having this big open cabinet. Our previous cabinets were the kind that was split. So there was a support beam here and it made it really hard to store things. Um, this is just so much easier. It's open. Um, I love having it here. We can bring the groceries in and pile them up on the counter, easily put everything away. When I'm cooking here, if I need to grab something, it's easy access. I love this. Yes, it's messy. It's not the best situation ever, but it's so much better than the pantry system we had before. And then this cabinet here is just our everyday dishes, which we need to empty the dishwasher. This could definitely use some organization, but that works out perfectly. It holds all of our dishes. And it's easy access to the dishwasher, which is still here. Um, we thought about moving this because it's not the most um, easy to access in terms of the sink. You have to carry the dishes sort of across the kitchen to get them in there, but with the way that the wiring was in here and the way that the water lines were and everything, it just was 100% easier and much less expensive just to keep it where it was. So this is sort of what started the whole kitchen process. We needed to replace the dishwasher and it kind of ballooned from there and became a much bigger project than we originally anticipated. But I so love this. So this little cubby above the refrigerator has been a couple of different things over the weeks. We're still trying to kind of figure out where we want everything to go. We've got a lot more cabinet space than we had previously. Um, right now it's holding all of the Thanksgiving items and that's working phenomenally. In the past we've had mixing bowls up here um, so we're still kind of trying to work everything out but right now it's just got everything for Thanksgiving up there. And then the bottom cabinets, um, there's not as many bottom cabinets, but they're working out really well for us as well. So this little drawer here is sort of where we keep our utensils. Yeah, it's a giant mess. I know. Um, I still need to organize things, but we had our utensils in a big um, crock sitting on the countertop before. And I like this so much better. It's so much easier just to close the drawer on it and hide it away. Under here, we have all of my pots and pans. We have this really nice slide out system, um, all of the lids and then all of the pans down below. It makes it super easy to get into. And I love that. We have the dishwasher, the stove, and then we have the two cabinets on this side. So. This is a great little feature that I did not have before. It's sort of a slide out where I can store extra sponges and things. Yes, there's dishes in my sink. Um, I just keep, you know, the usual stuff up there. Dish soap, hand soap, that sort of thing. Um, under here, this is like a humongous mess, but it's real life, guys. This is all cleaning products. And I love this little caddy that we put in. This slides out has all of our cleaning supplies. You can put a roll of paper towels in here, take this whole thing off of this track and carry it around the house for cleaning purposes. And I love that. It's one of my favorite things that we put into the kitchen. Um, this rug down here is from Amazon. Super affordable, just a nice place to stand here to do dishes. Um, my little tea towels are from Dollar Tree and Grove Collaborative. I love them. Um, and then the last sort of little cabinet here, we have our silverware drawer, which I love. It's much, much bigger than our previous silverware drawer. Um, but in doing this, we did lose some space. So when we redid the kitchen, this was all drawers going all the way down. Now we just have the two drawers, which I'm not loving. I kind of wish I had done drawers going all the way down, but too late to change that now. So we're just kind of living with it. Down here is where I'm keeping all of our mixing bowls and our bakeware. And eventually we're gonna put one of those sliding cabinets in here. We just haven't gotten around to that yet. So 
that is sort of a look at the functional part of the kitchen. We have our dining table here. Um, this has moved around a little bit. It originally was here against the wall. This is the wall, by the way, that is yet to be finished. There's a coat of paint on it, but we have not had a chance to do the trim and paint the windowsill out. Um, you can see here in the living room, which is a giant mess, but we have this window. It's hard to see because it's so dark in here. Alexa, turn on this living room light. Alexa, turn on the living room light. Okay. It helped a little bit. It's all done in white trim and it looks so much better once it's finished, but we just didn't get around to that. So that will eventually be done. You can see the paint stops here. Um, this whole thing needs to be painted. It's still a work in progress, very much so. Um, but definitely better than it was, right? We're, we're getting there. Um, there still needs to be trim here. There's also a piece of trim missing up in there. So still some stuff to be done. But I didn't want to hold off showing you guys this anymore. Um, over here, we do have this sort of dresser system, which is not permanent. Um, we've talked about the possibility of doing another section of counter and cabinetry. I don't know if we're going to end up doing that. We're still trying to kind of figure it out. Um, we are short some drawer space, like I said. So if we were to do that, we would put drawers here. Um, I don't know. It's not like the biggest opening in the world as it is. This is still like renovation stuff. Everything is a little bit chaotic, but... Um, this is working for now. I'm not going to go into these drawers because they're a mess. Like, this one can barely close. It's such a mess. But these are basically, um, there's Ziploc bags and plasticware and foil and stuff in this top drawer. Oven mitts are in the second drawer um, and tea towels and that sort of thing. We've got a drawer full of grocery bags. We have, I don't even know what's in the other ones. They're messy. I'm not going to open them. Um, but that's working for now, and then we have some baking stuff on top here. And then this is the thing that I still would really like to get rid of. We do still have a cabinet here with, um, a lot of our bakeware and stuff. Not bakeware, but like small appliances and stuff. I would like to eventually get rid of that, which is the reason why we're considering putting in another segment of cabinetry and countertop here so we can have more storage underneath but that's for another time overall for now I'm very very happy with the way the kitchen is it's a humongous improvement from what we had before I think it is so beautiful oh the floor I didn't talk to you guys about the floor so this floor is such a huge improvement we had really old dingy um, white like linoleum like all in one piece linoleum on the floor here and we had had a beagle a few several years ago now who had chewed up the floor so we had a big chewed up spot here and then we had another one over here that was underneath our table and it was just ugly and dingy and Eric ripped all of that up and put down this beautiful floor these are snapped together like Laminate pieces, actually, um, rigid stuff we picked up at Ollie's, which is a bargain outlet type store. Um, and he snapped this together, and it is absolutely gorgeous. He did this floor in here, and then he did this floor in the living room, which I'm not showing you the living room today. You guys will see it in vlogs. It's a giant mess, as you can see. So. Um, but overall, all we did in the living room was um, replace the floor, paint, trim, and we got a new entertainment center. Um, you guys will see that, like I said. This is just the kitchen tour. But yeah, we are so pleased with the way that this has turned out. It's gorgeous. Huge improvement. Could not be happier. I will be so glad when the project is 100% done. Feels like we've been doing home improvement projects forever, but I could not be happier with the results. So, um, 
I think that is all I wanted to show you. Countertops are a little bit cluttered right now because we got some extra food and stuff with Thanksgiving approaching. We keep our coffee maker here. And I put it on this little um, silicone tray to avoid like staining. Um, I know a lot of you guys have asked how the butcher block countertop is held up and it's actually held up really nice. Um, but I think if we had had that coffee maker directly on the countertop, it would not have fared quite as nice so far. Um, we definitely have coffee spills and stuff and I think that that coffee would have stained. We actually had coffee stained um, stains on our old countertop. So there's that. And then there's also a little bit of water damage here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. Yeah, um, from where our coffee maker actually leaked and overflowed this little silicone tray. Um, but the great thing about these countertops is that if this happens, um, we can just sand it off and refinish it with more oil, which we do plan to do. That was one of the main selling points of this countertop. It's beautiful, it's warm, it looks expensive, and it wasn't expensive in the grand scheme of things. Like, if we had wanted to do like granite countertops or something other than just like press board, really shitty countertops like we had before, um, it would have been ridiculously expensive. And this was not, this was like, um, I wanna say $600 total for the countertop and then what we needed just to finish it, the oil and stuff. So very affordable in the grand scheme of things. So that's it, you guys. That's a little overview of my kitchen. Is it perfect? No. Is it 100% clean? No. But do I love it? Yes. Oh, the other thing. When we had the kitchen before, the way that this worked, this whole system here, this countertop and cabinet situation, um, because this is directly butted up against the stove, there's no access here for storage. So the way that it was previously was when you would, op oh, I got spaghetti sauce or something I need to wipe off there, ignore that. When you would open this, there would be like a bunch of just dead space back here. And it's nearly impossible to, it was nearly impossible to access. So we had stuff stored back there, but then we could never get to it. So when my husband redid this, he actually just built this all in. There's not an actual cabinet here. It's just like two by fours that he put in and then he covered everything in beadboard, which is absolutely beautiful. So we no longer have that sort of black hole situation here. And then the backside of this is all done in the beadboard as well. And it's beautiful looking at this from the living room. Um, and I just love, love, love the beadboard. I think it's so pretty. So now I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was worth the wait. I know I have been making you guys wait so, so long for this video. I kept waiting for it to be done and perfect and finally just decided, hello, that's not what my channel's about anyway. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you guys tomorrow for more Vlogmas.